Hey guys, I just want to talk for a bit about Planet Zoo, which is a new game that was just announced by Frontier. And uh, it's something that I've sort of been looking forward to for a really long time, but nobody really knew if it was going to happen or not. There have been rumors about a new zoo game coming out by Frontier for a few years now, ever since the trademark was uh, registered by Frontier. For Planet Safari, there's been a lot of speculation about this kind of game coming out, and today it's been confirmed, which is super awesome. So yesterday I got some early access to some press release about this game, so that's why I've been able to get footage and some screenshots slightly ahead of everyone else. So I just want to take a bit of time to talk about these, uh, give my opinion, and also do a bit of speculation about what I think this game is going to be like. And I'll mostly be focusing on the screenshot, because for me at least, uh, this is definitely the most interesting thing, because it is a direct reflection of what this game is going to be like. I have to say that the reveal trailer is absolutely amazing, but at this point it just kind of feels like Frontier flexing on us, how their animation department and art department has done a great job on this video. But, you know, it doesn't say anything too specific about the game. I did talk for a bit with uh, Rudy Renkamel, exchanging ideas on what we found in these pictures and videos, and he did bring up that he watched this video and compared it to the Planet Coaster reveal, which was almost four years ago, which I also talked about uh, back then, uh, to see what things were very similar in these videos. And I do think that you'll be able to find the different animals and different themes that they show in the video in the game as well. I can't imagine them showing off bears in this video, for instance, and not adding them as a part of the game. But when it comes to the graphics and, you know, what it generally looks like, of course, it's not representative. So I'd rather want to focus on the screenshots instead. And honestly, this game as a whole, which I think has the potential to be a really good zoo game. There hasn't been a very well-known or popular zoo game of this sort, I think, ever since Zoo Tycoon, which is a game that I played back when I was younger. Um, but I haven't returned to the genre much, and definitely not as much as the roller coaster games. So, personally, I'm not much of an expert on zoos either, even though I like to visit them every now and then in real life. I haven't been in the zoo gaming genre uh, recently. Although, that said, uh, Frontier has been very active in this genre. They've made Connectimals, they've made Zoo Tycoon for the Xbox. They've made Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, which, I mean, if you want to look at it in a broad perspective, that is kind of a zoo game. That was the first Roller Coaster Tycoon game to add actual animals and uh, zoo mechanics into the game. And even Jurassic World Evolution, which is about dinosaurs, but really it's a zoo game at its core with dinosaurs as a skin. Although, uh, my biggest hope for Planet Zoo is that it's really going to be most similar to Planet Coaster. Even though Planet Coaster is a theme park game and Planet Zoo is a zoo game, I think these games are super similar and Planet Zoo seems to borrow a lot from Planet Coaster. And I think most of this becomes really clear in the screenshots, which honestly at first sight I think looks really good. There are obviously some slight graphical improvements over Planet Coaster, it looks slightly different. I think for me, it seems like there's a more rustic tone to the images overall. The lighting is less harsh, the shadows are a bit softer. The general hue of the image is a bit warmer as well. I think Planet Coaster is very bright and bluish colors. And to me, this definitely seems a bit more warm in terms of colors. But it's clear to see that a lot has carried over from Planet Coaster. If you zoom in on some of these palm trees, for instance, I can easily recognize that some of these have been directly imported from Planet Coaster. And to what extent they have updated the graphics on things like this is uh, really hard to tell. I think they've probably updated quite a few things, made things more high resolution or uh, things like that. Everything just seems like it's been touched up a little and they've tried to learn from uh, what happened with Planet Coaster. So for instance, it really looks to me like there are more terrain textures and uh, while it looks like it uses the same engine uh, for the terrain as well, so we get the same voxel terrain as we had in Planet Coaster, there seem to be more textures together. 
than we had in Planet Coaster. Some uh, splotch of red-ish mud-like rock texture here between it. Uh, and there's all kinds of different textures scattered throughout this whole enclosure of the elephants. And maybe this is just really well made and hides the fact that we don't per se need to get more terrain textures than Planet Coaster. I do think that it looks a lot better in this department uh, than Planet Coaster does. I think there are also a lot of new trees which look better than the trees in Planet Coaster ever did. Especially these two big trees that I honestly don't know any names of are just ever so slightly more detailed and more realistic than the trees that we had in Planet Coaster. So lots of really nice slight improvements that, you know, even though the game looks very similar to Planet Coaster, these improvements are going to definitely set it apart. Um, I think there are also some very positive aspects to the game being similar. I uh, found that in the press release, um, the, the developers stated that you can unleash your creativity with the next evolution of uh, the Planet Coaster's tools. So I expect that we're going to see the same um, piece by piece building tools that we had in Planet Coaster. Maybe even the 3D maneuver gear uh, that's been used to uh, place objects in all kinds of ways. I can definitely tell from the rocks that's been placed every now and then. You can see that these rocks are all placed in slightly different positions. So I think we'll have the same kind of control over how we place certain things, which is absolutely awesome. I still really like the building system of Planet Coaster. And it's amazing to see this game actually have that, especially after... Uh, Jurassic World evolution was much more limited in terms of scenery. Um, I also think it's very exciting for the reason that I, any Planet Coaster player can probably jump into this game and already be familiar with the basic building mechanics and just have to familiarize themselves with how the animals work and try to get used to the new gameplay elements. But all of the design elements, the creative aspects of the game look very similar to Planet Coaster. And hell, I think it's really important also to stress that this game really seems to put a very similar focus on creativity as Planet Coaster, which I'm super happy about. Uh, first of all, I was glad that this is the game that was being announced because even though a lot of people were expecting this Sioux game, you know, when Frontier announced that they were going to announce a new game, I really wasn't sure if it was even going to be this rumor, so I was really hoping that it would be the zoo rumor. So I'm glad that turned out to be true, but I'm also really glad that they are focusing on creativity as much as uh, on management, or at least it really seems to be that way so far, because I do like the balance between that as opposed to focusing just on managing the park. Now, speaking of the animals, I don't think there's uh, too much to speculate about them yet. We can only see them from a distance, so it's hard to tell how good the models are going to be for the animals. But they definitely seem like they're going to be quite dynamic. We already see some different poses here. Uh, there's a baby elephant snacking from some food here. And um, in general, I think from Jurassic World Evolution, we can tell that the modeling in Frontier is just absolutely great. So that should probably be fine. There is, uh, There are some wolves here, is what Rudy was speculating, and I think they are probably wolves. So we don't get to see too many animals here, but I, I think that we'll probably eventually see all of, the, all of the different animals from the reveal trailer pop up in the game as well. And according to the press release, these animals are going to have a big focus on how they behave. So actually managing the, the, the health and happiness uh, and all of those micromanagement statistics of the animals is probably going to be part of the game, I think. We can already see here that they uh, do actually get some playthings in all of these soccer balls and you have to feed them and what according to Rudy are probably going to be sprinklers and I'm really not sure, we just have these small buttons throughout the, uh, the enclosures and if these aren't sprinklers I have no idea what else, I think it was a, a good idea that they are probably sprinklers. But we'll see what kind of effect that has on the biomes, for instance, how we have to care for uh, maybe not just the animals, but the vegetation or otherwise the scenery of the enclosures. Uh, there's also an interesting a bamboo stick or some kind of scenery element like that between the rocks. And it'll be interesting to see if the animals will have any ways to interact with different scenery items in their enclosures. But, you know, we all just have to wait 
what's going to happen with that. What I do think is really cool about the animal behavior is that we see a small baby elephant here in the water with some uh, animations around it as well. So they are probably going to play with different elements of the environment. Now, something that struck me especially is the way that these enclosures have been closed off from the paths. And I was really worried when I was looking at this first that we'd be very restricted with what kind of fences we would need to put around enclosures. Uh, because for me personally, a lot of the, the, the best zoos manage to bring you really close to the animals without ever, you know, actually making it dangerous for either the animals or the guests. Um, and you just need a lot of very good s strategies for hiding the different mechanisms that you have to protect the enclosures uh, and using these uh, these slow ramps down into a, a, a lake is something that works really well for a lot of real life zoos and it seems like they've done very something very similar here because there is the lake over here but there's no actual fence on this side of the path where the lake is already protecting the enclosure and i don't know if it's simply a fence that is hidden underneath the terrain Something very similar seems to be going on underneath all of this terrain. But in any case, I think it's good to see that we are probably going to be quite flexible in how we fence off the enclosures. Uh, we see the same over here where we have a glass wall, which to be honest is kind of pointless in this case. I would probably want to have some kind of path behind this and make the glass the only way to see the enclosure. And there's a, an elevated pathway here anyway. But... Um, yeah, despite how pointless it looks in this park, I think it does show off that there will be some kind of flexibility in what fences you use to fence off the enclosures. Same goes for this area here. There's a, a stone fence here, and then it changes to what seems like more a steel railing fence. And um, there's also that classic path from Planet Coaster that we all recognize from when we were struggling with terraforming here. Um, this looks like a very steep staircase, not sure what's up with that. Also, what Rudy mentioned, uh, which I completely missed, and it's very easy to miss because it's all the way in the upper left corner of the picture, but there seems to be a track over here, and Rudy also found that in the concept art, there is a railroad track in here, and I originally didn't want to look at the concept art too much because it isn't exactly a representation of what the game is going to look like, but there's probably going to be a train in the game, so there's probably also going to be some kind of track building mechanic related to that, which is really cool. It's, it's nice to see that even though this is a zoo game, there is still some kind of ride, and I'm very curious to see what that is going to be like. Other than that, there's just a lot of scenery, I think, to point out in this build. There are some walls here on the side, which seem to be really be uh, piece by piece built, especially because we can tell that there's a classic planet coaster path here with a rounded curb on the side, and then the walls are actually built on top of that. And the same happens in the distance, where we have some classical looking buildings with balustrades and... Lots of items that I've never actually seen in Planet Coaster, so definitely new items. But at the same time, it really clearly looks like the same building tools have been used as in Planet Coaster, a very similar piece by piece building mechanic. And the same also goes for this building in the background, which uh, Rudy was also thinking might have windows that don't exactly align. Like the windows have been placed piece by piece as well. I'm not entirely sure if that is the case, but it definitely, it, it probably is. It looks like it's been built by a similar builder as Planet Coaster. So, yeah, altogether, I'm honestly very cautiously happy about how this looks so far. Looks very promising, especially because it seems to take the elements that work best in Planet Coaster, uh, brought it into a new game, and added some improvements to graphics and models and the art style. While at the same time, I hope learning from some of the, the mistakes or things that were left behind at first in Planet Coaster and including them right away from the start of the game uh, to incorporate those a bit better. I remember, for instance, uh, transparency was an issue in Planet Coaster for a long time, so it took a long time before glass made its way into the game. But it looks like we are going to have glass pieces, at the very least glass walls, right from the start in this game. So 
overall, I think it's very promising, especially because it's related to Planet Coaster. And I think as a final note, and this is something that Rudy also brought up, so <laughs> I really can't thank him enough for the bit of a brainstorming session that we had about this. But what I think is finally also worth pointing out is the fact that it still uses this, a very similar title and logo to Planet Coaster. So it's obviously a spin-off of sorts, and maybe not even a spin-off, really an additional entry in a very similar series of games. And the question is just if it's going to stop here, or if we're going to see more Planet games. Uh, because at this point, you can pretty much add any word at the end of Planet and turn it into a whole new management games. And there is definitely a slew of different types of management games that I would love to see tackled in this sense. So I think that's interesting. It's not so much about Planet 2 itself, but I think it's worth thinking about. And, uh, well, depending on what the reactions on Frontier's side are to this speculation, uh, we can probably make up whether this is likely to happen or not. But I really hope that we're going to see maybe some planet water parks or what about planet skiing or things like that in any case and yeah i'm gonna say in any case i'm happy that the rumors about the zoo game from frontier turn out to be true but i'm very curious to see what you guys think about this whether you think it looks good uh, and whether you're looking forward to a zoo game again which i think has been lacking in the pc market for quite a while so it'll be interesting to see if this game will make a similar splash to how Planet Coaster uh, did. When, especially compared to uh, the Zoo games, the Planet Coaster game also made quite the splash in the genre because there has been quite a lack of good theme park games for a few years before that as well. Anyway, that's been it for today. So I hope to see you guys in the next Planet Coaster video. And um, until... Planet Zoo comes out, maybe we won't see too much of this yet, but once this game does come out, I'll definitely make some videos in this as well, so stay tuned for that. Bye guys!